Hey everybody, my name's Jeff Bull and I'm a developer advocacy manager here with Cisco DevNet. I really hope you're having a great time with DevNet Create so far. I know there's a lot of amazing workshops and breakout sections, the demo jam of all things. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, and I'm super excited to be hosting this super special roundtable all about the new Cisco DevNet expert certification. It's fantastic. This was just announced in the, uh, just announced in the last week, which is amazing. Um, it's the first expert level cert that's been put out for the new DevNet program in the last couple of years, which is amazing. Um, so let's dig a bit deeper into what that certification is, how it works, and how to get started on your journey. Now, for the DevNet expert cert, as you can imagine, there's a core exam and a practical exam. The core exam that you're going to start with is the DevCore 350-901. Um, blueprints are out there now. We're going to talk a bit about that. So the core exam targets your, your knowledge of things like software development and design. Um, as well as your use of APIs, Cisco platforms, application deployment, security, infrastructure, you, you get the idea. Um, similar to what you've experienced with a CCI, IE in the past, it's a very comprehensive exam. Um, it also serves as the first half, like I mentioned, of the certification. Now, the second exam, which is the DevNet Expert Practical Exam, um, is going to be an eight-hour hands-on lab that requires you to do things like plan, design, develop, test, deploy, um, all of these things in like a an environment that is very complex based off of an automation driven network, um, which is key to testing your skills um, in software deployment and maintaining software. So the practical exam is going to be available next year. That's 2022 on May 2nd of 2022. So something to remember there. However, you can sign up to take the core exam right now, which is amazing. You can also download the blueprint for these exams at cisco.com slash go slash devnet expert or at developer.cisco.com under our certifications page. And the whole blueprint's listed for you, all the details on where to focus and how to get prepared for it. All right, I know that was a lot of information. So don't worry, I'm gonna talk about it a bit at the end, no worries. Um, so now let's go ahead and meet our panel. And with, you know, in meeting our panel, I wanna start off with a question to Joe and Hank. Um, you know, this certification is an expert level cert um, in the same vein that we see the CCIE. Um, on the traditional networking side. So what I want to ask you both is, what would you say sets this certification apart? And what's the greatest value for people who earn it? Oh, thanks, Jeff. Uh, hello, creators. Uh, I'm Joe. Uh, so what sets this cert apart? We we In February 2020, we did uh, announce a, a new set or a new style of certifications, uh, including relaunching a lot of the expert certs with software woven into them. This is the first expert level certification where it's software and automation first. It gets to that new network engineer that's tackling those software driven networks. And the individual who passes this exam has asserted that they are that leader. They can build that automation first team. They can solve those challenging problems, things like future of work and secure agile networks with a software first mentality. Adding into what Joe said, um, one of the things that I think that's unique about the DevNet or the Cisco certified DevNet expert lab exam that came through is most of the other expert level exams from Cisco focus on particular pieces of the Cisco portfolio and technology that's there. Maybe it's enterprise networking with DNA Center and the other, uh, the switching platforms and the routing platforms, or it's collaboration and it's focused on WebEx and voice over IP and video I, um, solutions from Cisco. The DevNet expert exam is about automating these different platforms that are out there. So the types of skills that you're, you're being checked, the, the, the tasks you're going to be asked to do are not necessarily tied to a specific piece of Cisco tech. It's more kind of a, a best practices operations exam where we're saying, okay, let's take this automation stuff we've been talking about for several years and apply it to the Cisco technology, which is really quite unique. It means when we put the blueprint together, it's not just know these protocols from Cisco or know this product set or this particular API. There's a lot of open source tools and libraries and best practices and mechanisms that you have to become comfortable with and how to apply those to Cisco technology. That's really quite unique from a certification exam perspective from Cisco. Awesome. Thank you both. Really appreciate it. And I think that really speaks to the, the open nature of these DevNet certs and the, the learning that's going to take people through as they as they um, study for them. Now, I want to go over to you, Kareem. Um, thinking about how this certification was created, what sort of like real world opportunities do you think will be available to people who take and pass uh, the Dev Cisco DevNet certified expert? 
if you look at at the at the network and the infrastructure today, it's massive. It's growing, and Cisco and Cisco products are everywhere, right? The need for automation, and the need for engineers to understand, and kind of what uh, Joe and Hank touch on, and the need for the engineers to understand how to um, get these massive networks and massive infrastructure to talk to each other in an automated fashion is there, and you can see it out there. So if you you know, if you're saying that I'm a DevNet expert and I'm I know exactly what I'm talking about, then you can qualify for things like a network automation engineer or a net DevOps engineer, which is a, 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 an actual skill set that's required and that's needed out there. And we see that, you know, we see huge companies building uh, automation teams just for that. And we're saying, hey, with DevNet expert, you know this and you can lead a project like that. Excellent. That's that, I think that's really helpful and puts into context um, not just the reason for taking a cert exam, but more specifically what you're going to learn in that journey, learn going through the study prior to taking the exam. Awesome. Uh, Kurt, let's move over to you. Um, so I mentioned earlier the blueprints now available for folks to go download and start getting their heads around how to get approach this. If you could pick just one thing to highlight about that blueprint, what would it be? Yeah, that's a good question. Now, what's very important for the candidates to know is that the format is going to be very similar to our other expert exams. So the exam topics will cover the full software development lifecycle in a highly automated network. So what that means is that we will be testing on software design, development, software testing, deployment, and maintaining the solution throughout the exam. The exam topics themselves, they consist of five major domains being software development, design, and deployment, infrastructure as a code, network programmability and automation, containers, and last but not least, security. And each of these domains have a specific weight assigned to them. For more details on these domain weights and together with more information on the exam format, that can all be found on the DevNet Expert Learning pages. Excellent, thank you for that. Now, now that we know a little bit more about the blueprint and we've talked a bit about how to, you know, what the opportunities that might be available for this, for anyone who gets this cert. Let's take a step back and talk about how anyone looking at it would even get there. Because, you know, certifications is sort of the culmination of a study process, and that's all the learning that you do. And the certification is just kind of the capstone at the end of that project. So, Stuart, um, Hank, and Joe, I, I want to ask all three of you, how, how would you recommend somebody kind of set their sights on um, achieving the certification, knowing that, you know, some of the folks listening to this might be, or watching this might be just starting out. Um, somebody already have this DevNet professional and they're just thinking about that next step. Um, some people may be CCIEs and haven't dipped their toes into the DevNet cert experience yet. So how would you recommend someone approach this process? Um, I think one of the things that's important for anybody sitting down to prepare themselves for the DevNet expert certification is to recognize that a conscious effort was made related to applying the types of skills that you'll see in the blueprint to real world use cases. Um, there's a joke that's been said kind of in the certification community, like the CCIE exam was like a, a science experiment exam. Like, can you engineer the worst design network ever and make it function? Um, that's not an approach that we took with the DevNet expert exam. We took these really important skills that organizations are demanding um, on how to operate and change the way that they apply their network. And we look for use cases that we hear from customers, that we hear from engineers. And that's the type of work. Those are the types of tasks you're gonna be asked to do. And so as you're preparing, look at those skills that we have on the blueprint and figure out and, and say, okay, how would I apply this in a real world day job? Um, and that's the type of um, elements to go through. Recognize that automation skills don't happen in a vacuum. Um, we've got aspects of Python automation and Ansible automation and secret management on the blueprint. You're going to be expected to pull these things together in the tasks to go after it. And so keep that in mind. This isn't a science experiment. It's not some, some end of the world, like, can you do this? And you'd never really do it in the real world. Like, these are real skills. Practice them in that in mind. That's great, Hank. And I think if you've gone through the DevNet professional exams, you'll be, you know, already familiar with some of the things that we'll be looking for within the, the DevNet expert certification itself, especially if you've come from that DevNet, uh, the DevNet professional background, you've already done the core or the enterprise um, exam or the DevOps exam or the SP Auto exam. It's going to really set you up for a lot of the tasks that you're going to see within the DevNet certification for expert. Wow, I think Hank and Stuart took the best answers. I should have jumped in and gone first. Um, 
Hank's point about a, a real and, and more practical practical uh, is it cannot be underestimated. So for those of you who are setting your sights on this, um, I mean, the, the old adage is you practice and Hank used the word practice, uh, but it's also about looking for opportunities now. How do you put these skills to practice now? How do you make your life easier through automation? If you're already doing this, look at the uh, the blueprint or the exam topics that uh, Kurt mentioned and find areas of, of uh, maybe gap or something where you feel weak in and, and look to see how you might practice that or maybe incorporate some of that uh, into your own automation. Hank also mentioned the inter interconnected and interoperability of things. That's something, so in, in the CCIE, that I, that inner network, that's about bringing those things together. So it really is about creating practical interwoven um, capabilities of automation and making them work and work well for your organization. So even though everything that, uh, that that's in the blueprint, you might not find exactly fitting, you're going to find that if you if you practice, if you go out and you research, if you look at the, the documentation and some of the, the uh, learning that we've provided, you're going to find some best practices that will help you get prepared and get uh, set up to be successful. Right on. Thank you, right. all three of you. I really appreciate that. And I think that sets us up nicely for what I want to ask Stuart here next, um, because when you, as I mentioned before, when you get a certification or complete an exam, it's really the culmination. It's the capstone of a lot of the journey of learning and practical and hands-on, like all three of you mentioned. So Stuart, um, could you give us a little bit of insight on some of the resources available to prepare for the DevNet Expert mm -hmm. certification? Yeah, absolutely, Jeff. And I think Joe touched on a little bit there when he was talking about the blueprint. With all of the DevNet exams, the Blueprint really, really is your best friend. And knowing and going through the domains and the, the topics on there is going to really strengthen your knowledge, cover any gaps that, you know, you might have. And you'll find out where your strong areas are as well. You might surprise yourself, you know, where you're, you know, particularly strong in an area where you might not have, you know, thought you were um, particularly strong. Um, you know, DevNet has a whole bunch of really, really great content. We've worked really hard over the years to build a lot of great free content on DevNet throughout the learning labs and also with the sandboxes. So it's kind of not like the old days, you know, back when I was doing the CCIE RNS and I sort of filled my living room up with 25 different routers and it sounded like a jet plane sort of like taking off or, you know, like the Millennium Falcon on the Castle Run, for example. Um, if you were, uh, you can use the sandboxes, you know, really to, to, to really leverage those to go through the blueprint tasks and to get in that much needed hands-on experience, which is expected for any sort of DevNet, so DevNet or expert exam within the, you know, the Cisco portfolio of exams. Excellent. Thank you. So I know we're kind of rounding out the session right now. So I want to take a couple moments before we wrap up and say, uh, first off, thank you all. Um, I want to give you all an opportunity before we wind down of to kind of just throw out one last piece of advice that you would give any candidate that's or any person that's looking to pursue the DevNet expert. Um, Kareem, let's start with you. Um, practice and going in, you should not, anything that you see should not be new to you. So get familiar with the tools know what you're doing and get a good night's sleep. Kurt, how about you? That's what one of the things that I would also say okay. uh, to candidates that are preparing for the lab exam. Make sure that you're well prepared. Make sure that you have everything sorted. Uh, make sure that you're ready for that day and get a good night of sleep before you do the exam. Try to rule out all the stress that, uh, that you could have. Joe, how about you? Kurt had a good one there. I would say relax. Um, if you're stepping into this, you've practiced, you've come prepared, um, you've got everything, you've got this. Um, take that opportunity to breathe, set your mind to what you want to do, and do it. Hank, how about you? Have fun. Um, network automation is one of the things that got me really excited about network engineering again. The DevNet expert is all about these types of skills. Enjoy them. Have fun with your preparation and even the exam. Stuart, how about you? Oh, yeah, I think there's some really great ones already. I think time management is key, you know, in the expert exam, um, knowing, the, knowing the subjects in, inside, inside and out, you know, going into the exam. It's going to be a great exam. You know, we've heard such great feedback from all of the DevNet exams and, you know, really hope that everybody really enjoys taking this exam and uh, um, enjoys everything that we've built into it. That's awesome, Stuart. Thanks for sharing that. I really appreciate it. Um, 
So I wanted to go into something a little bit more fun because at the end of the day, certifications shouldn't just be you go take a test. Hopefully you get through it. And there's this piece of paper when you're done. This should be fun. You're learning. You're, you're, you're building up a new set of skills for your career, which is amazing. So why don't we do this? Everyone, let's just jump in with what is something that gets you really excited about this certification? And whoever wants to go first is welcome to. I, I could, can't believe they actually have paper anymore. We, we, we still use that. I mean, I, I got my CCIE back in 98, um, and I remember it distinctly. I was very excited when I, when I passed it and troubleshooting was over. This was a two-day exam. But since then, I, I was more in the network management space, more in operations. I didn't do a lot of, of CCIE-like stuff day in and day out. I was doing more with software. I was working with our Cisco Works product, for those of you out there who may remember that. Um, so when, when we started to really go full bore into automation, uh, when we had things like the Embedded Event Manager and Tickle, and then we started to actually get serious about APIs, I was like, this is awesome. I love this. This speaks to me. I want to be that dude. I, I, I love doing this. And so the DevNet Expert is just like the culmination of, of, all, of, of, of all of our attention there. And it's, it's finally something that, that really speaks to my, my soul. I can go and get this. And that's an exam that really, that, that's what I like to do. That's what, that's what wakes me up in the morning. Yeah, and that's what gets me really excited that we finally have that expert exam in software uh, development for these network engineers that all the time have already, already been doing software things in a network automation and stuff like that. Now I would really invite everyone to to that has completed their DevNet professional or even network engineers that are really into software development to start their journey and, and exploring uh, the DevNet Expert certification. Because together with CCIE and CCDE, I think DevNet Expert is gonna be one of the top certifications around. I think I think for me is is DevNet, like the brand DevNet. You know, we being able to say I'm a DevNet expert is just, is huge for me. And, um, you know, I, I look back at, at the journey from back in 2014, when we were uh, getting in front of network engineers, giving, giving them this presentation around Python and automation with APK EM and being like, well, where's the CLI? And saying, well, no, 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 there's no CLI. Now we're talking about APIs and getting data back and forth between the two endpoints and, 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 and being able to say, you know, I was able to be there on day one, and now finally at the end of the journey, we're giving you the DevNet expert. We're validating everything that we've been teaching you for the past, I don't know, five, six, seven years, and saying, you can go take that lab, get the hands on, and show your skill set that you actually have been listening and you know what you're doing. So that to me is is kind of the, the what gets me motivated. The the thing that I think that's for me that's most exciting about the DevNet Expert is that for, for a couple of years now, I've been out there talking about these like corner case technologies and solutions from Cisco, things like Pi ATS and, and Cisco NSO is relevant for more than just like big service providers that are out there or leveraging Cisco modeling labs more than just for like putting together like two routers to go and like learn how BGP works. These are technologies that I've loved for so long, and now they like show up as first class citizens on an expert level exam from Cisco. I mean, that's really exciting to to not just be relegated to like the the also ran pile of Cisco software and, and solutions that are out there. I love the also ran thing. Yes. Yeah, it's it's been so you go through and be like, oh, I want to talk to you about this great technology, and it's like, well, cool. Where's the SKU? What what box does it look like? Right? Where's the Cisco logo printed on the side of it? And I was like, no, this is just stuff you can download and use it, and it's there. And now we can actually test you on it, and you can earn a certification and have that proof that these are skills that are legitimately needed. Um, that's really cool. So I was going to say that uh, you know the, the thing about getting excited about you know the exam and stuff was you know when when we launched the DevNet exam which came out I think February 2020, you know my my Twitter and my social media accounts with people taking the exam and sharing their experience and whether they passed or failed but you know saying how great it was no matter which DevNet exam it was they were taking whether it was the associate or whether it was a professional and you know some people were crazy enough to take three exams back to back on on you know the first day of the first day of the certifications launching my my iphone actually went flat 
it was next to me on the desk and it went flat because you know it was all it was was just devnet certification devnet certification people are so pumped about this and a lot of the questions right from that day one of the devnet certification being able to be taken will be an asked of one's a devnet expert exam so now knowing that this is coming and waiting for that excitement and the launch i just can't wait to see how you know, people booking themselves into the exam when they're coming out and sharing their experience and talking about this is, is going to be it's going to be crazy again it's going to be awesome yeah i totally so, agree and actually hank you said something a minute ago that it actually you and joe brought something up that was interesting i can remember earlier in my career like early 2000s mid 2000s working for a company and going oh we don't have this thing and then learning it in ccmp and going wow i can't wait till i work someplace that has that so i can play with that too and it's super cool to know that I can just you can just go download these things and just do them now. You don't have to wait till you get a particular job or some part of your career that maybe you get to touch those technologies. You can just do it. It's really rad. As a as a content creator, one of the other things that excites me about the DevNet expert is as much as I love putting together like an introduction to Python or an introduction to this technology, like I've got a whole suite of mm -hmm. new advanced and expert level topics and examples and demos and classes and sessions at events that now can be written because there'll be an audience for those because there's an official path for them. Um, again, not that I have any problem with doing an intro to Python, but I can't wait to dive in and be like, let's actually look and dive into like the robust error checking and how to use classes appropriately and how do we actually make sure that we're following good best practices and it's not just like embedding secrets in the middle of like your code so awesome thanks yeah. everyone i really appreciate it um i want to say that's going to do it for today um i really want to thank joe stewart cream kurt and hank for being here and providing all this really interesting information and helpful hopefully for all of you who are looking to pursue um the devnet expert certification um if you're interested once again you can go to um our website at www.cisco.com slash go slash devnet expert or developer.cisco.com and go to our certifications page for the blueprint and all kinds of information that should be helpful, et cetera. My name is Jeff Bull. Thanks again for joining us. Enjoy the rest of DevNet Create.